Imagine a world where stopping to charge your electric car takes less time than ordering a coffee at the bakery. Now imagine that this reality is about to become commonplace thanks to the launch of the highly anticipated Tesla Model 2. With more than 52,000 superchargers around the world, Tesla will position itself as the only automaker that will not only sell the car, but also provide the infrastructure that makes it work as it should. There will be more than 14,000 chargers in North America alone, which will put the company light years ahead of competitors like BYD, which will still rely on third-party networks with limited coverage. Anyone driving a Model 2 will soon no longer have to worry about an app crashing, a card not working, or waiting in line in the middle of the night. These new generation V4 superchargers will be capable of delivering up to 350 kilotons of power. For the average driver, this will mean something extraordinary. Around 200 miles recharged in less than 15 minutes. It will be like taking a breather and getting back on the road without even warming up the coffee shop bench. Meanwhile, BYD will remain stuck with stations that will deliver a maximum of 150 kilarv needing almost twice as long to provide half the range. In an era where time has become much more valuable than fuel, this difference will simply be unacceptable for those seeking efficiency. The most impressive thing about this story isn't just the speed. Tesla's network will have a level of reliability that will make any other service seem like a makeshift. Internal data points to 95% stable operation in its chargers, while those of Electrify America and BP Pulse, which will serve BYD, will barely reach 75%. This means that for every four stops, a BYD driver runs the risk of finding the station out of service. Imagine taking a long trip and, in the middle of nowhere, the only available station doesn't work. The owner of a Model 2 will hardly run that kind of risk. In addition to spreading chargers around like roadside diners, Tesla will integrate the entire user experience into a single ecosystem. Anyone driving the Model 2 won't need to open an app, log in, or deal with that modern frustration of hunting for QR codes. The system will automatically recognize the car the moment it's plugged in, enabling charging and debiting the amount directly from the user's Tesla account. This will make the process as natural as opening the car door. And it won't just be the plug that knows what to do. The car itself will indicate the closest and least busy station, updating the route in real time according to traffic or demand at each point. In addition, the Model 2 will prepare its own battery before reaching the charger, which will allow it to charge even faster. The battery will be preconditioned automatically, optimizing the temperature for ideal charging. A detail that may seem small, but will make a huge difference for those who want to continue their journey without delay. While fast and smart charging will be a game changer, what will really set the Model 2 apart will be how it handles the harshest road conditions. When the cold is bitter and the wind is slashing like a blade, the Model 2 will not begrudge you a thing or two. During tests in freezing environments, it is predicted to maintain an impressive 82% of its original range, even in temperatures as low as 4 Diver pre -Dierhof. Comparisons with BYD models will be inevitable. The numbers project that it will deliver only 58% in these same conditions. And that difference could be exactly what separates a smooth arrival home from an emergency call in the middle of a blizzard. The secret will be in Tesla's thermal management technology, which will use an extremely efficient heat pump system. It will need just 3.8 kilowatt to heat the cabin and battery pack, while BYD will use almost twice that, with its 7.2 kilowatt load. In practice, this means that the Model 2 will not only withstand the cold better, but will also waste less energy in the process, ensuring more useful mileage. And yes, this will make a difference both for the driver in a hurry and for those with the family in the back seat. But what about when the problem is the scorching heat, the kind that makes even the asphalt feel like it's melting? In tests under intense sunlight at 115 degree vesters, the Model 2 will show a loss of just 5% in battery capacity after four hours of exposure. 
BYD, on the other hand, will face a considerable drop of 18%. In other words, before you even turn the key, or rather, touch the dashboard, the Chinese car will already be missing almost a fifth of its autonomy. This could completely change the plans of those who depend on the car for long distances. Even in extreme heat, the difference will continue even during charging. Tesla will design the Model 2 with a cooling system so efficient that it will maintain 92% of its maximum charging speed even after four consecutive sessions in high temperatures. BYD's systems will start out fine, but will drop to 58% of its original speed after the third consecutive charge. This will make it clear that Tesla is not just concerned with showcase performance, but with real endurance in situations of intense use. And what if the road turns into a river? Believe it or not, the Model 2 will be built with that in mind. Its battery pack and electric motors will come with IP67 protection, which will allow it to withstand floods of up to 25 feet long and 10 inches deep without failing. The BYD, with IP65, will start to show problems at just 15 feet. This type of test may seem excessive at first glance, but for those who live in regions prone to flooding, it will be an essential safety factor. During the aquaplaning response test, another number will impress. Tesla's traction control will respond in just 0.08 seconds, practically instantaneous. BYDs will take three times as long. 0.23 seconds, which in a situation of loss of grip could be the line between a scare and a serious accident. And there's no denying it. On a wet and slippery road, the speed of the electronic response will be a valuable ally, even for experienced drivers. After understanding how the Model 2 will handle cold, heat, floods, mountains, and even gravel, the question that many people ask quietly but think out loud comes to mind. Will it be comfortable in everyday life? Because there's no point in enduring a snowstorm if, in city traffic or on the highway, the car feels like a modern wagon. But that's when the Model 2 will begin to show its most refined side, without losing the technological soul that every Tesla carries in its DNA. In urban centers, where every traffic light is a test of patience and every tight maneuver a challenge, the Model 2 will deliver agility and intelligence like few others. For starters, the projected urban consumption will be a show in itself. 5.2 miles per Kadidaladud, compared to 4.3 for BYD. It may not seem like much, but over the course of a week, this will mean fewer trips to the charger and more freedom. On the road, the secret will be in the aerodynamic design. With a drag coefficient of just 0.2 to 1.9, the Model 2 will cut through the air with ease, resulting in 4.1 miles per kilos at 70 millipritsno, compared to 3.5 for its Chinese rival. And all this effortlessly, without excessive noise and without compromising cabin comfort. In fact, Talking about silence in the Model 2 will be almost like talking about the air conditioning in a five-star hotel. You only notice it when it's not working. The cabin will be 15% quieter than the BYD's, thanks to more refined sound insulation and an intelligent suspension design. Vibrations and road noise will be masterfully filtered out. This is not just a matter of luxury, but of mental well-being. Drivers know that noise is tiring, stressful, and disruptive. In the Model 2, even the sound of the engine will be replaced by the faint futuristic hum of moving electrons. In practice, this will translate into comfort, yes, but also efficiency. When it comes to ramps, those long hills that seem to never end, the Model 2 will show total dominance. Thanks to its advanced regenerative system, it will recover up to 68% of the energy spent on the climb during the descent. BYD, even trying to keep up, will stay at 51%. This means that each hill will become an improvised battery on the way back. The technology will be working in the driver's favor the entire time, even without him realizing it. In the city, the Model 2's intelligence will shine with its one-pedal driving system, which will offer unparalleled smoothness. It will be able to stop and accelerate naturally 
adapting to the driver's style. Consistency tests for this feature will show 92 points out of 100, a commendable score. BYD, on the other hand, will only achieve 76 despite its efforts. This difference will be felt at every intersection, in every traffic jam, and especially at times when fluidity makes all the difference. In tighter maneuvers, another point that will draw attention is the turning radius of just 17.2 feet. This will allow the Model 2 to enter and exit tight spaces with ease, almost like a compact hatchback. And when the driver prefers not to worry, the automatic parking system will solve the problem with an accuracy of 1.8 inches from the target. BYD, even with sensors and cameras, will have difficulty offering this same confidence. In urban centers, this difference between it works and it works well will make all the difference in day-to-day -day life. If the convenience and efficiency are already convincing, the cherry on the cake will be the way the Model 2 a 2 Mont 2 will make charging almost invisible. Forget everything you've heard about slow apps, failed authentications, or hunting for a working charger in an unfamiliar city. The Tesla Model 2 will not only have a battery, it will know exactly how, where, and when to recharge. And it will start charging as soon as the driver enters the destination on the dashboard. The navigation system itself will take care of everything else, plotting a route that will include the most available superchargers along the way. But it won't just be a static route. The car will adapt in real time to traffic, demand on chargers, and even weather conditions, rerouting if a station is full or out of service. What's more, as it approaches the station, Model 2 itself will begin to heat or cool the battery so that it reaches the ideal temperature for the moment of connection. This preconditioning process will ensure that recharging occurs in the shortest possible time, without loss of performance due to external factors. Now imagine taking a long road trip and realizing that instead of stopping for 40 minutes or more, you only need 12 or 15. That's what Tesla's V4 chargers, with up to 350 kilometers of power, will do. They'll be able to deliver about 200 miles of range in less than a quarter of an hour. Compared to the infrastructure BYD will use, often based on third-party networks like Electrify America, the difference will be stark. There, charging will take twice as long and will be full of unexpected problems. Another detail that may seem small but will make all the difference is Tesla's plug-and-play system. Model 2 drivers won't need to open any apps, scan QR codes, or handle physical cards. The charger will automatically recognize the car as soon as the cable is connected, and the charge will be made directly to the user's account. In times when everything seems to require three logins and two passwords, this simplicity will win over even those who are terrified of technology. This total integration between car, charger, and software will also bring another benefit, saving time. Studies already indicate that on 500-mile trips, a Tesla owner will save up to 45 minutes per trip compared to someone driving a BYD. And believe me, 45 minutes when you're hungry, with a child in the back seat, or trying not to miss a meeting, can seem like an eternity. In this scenario, the Model 2 will be almost like a personal assistant, anticipating problems and solving everything behind the scenes. As the charging experience becomes increasingly automated and integrated, something even more profound will begin to emerge. Trust. After all, why would anyone choose an electric car if they didn't trust that it would take care of their safety, work whenever they needed it, and not let them down in the most critical moments? And this is exactly where the Tesla Model 2 will make its mark. Not just because of its innovation or the numbers on paper, but because it will inspire something that is worth more than any technical specifications. The feeling that you are in good hands. Research already points to a very clear scenario. Tesla will achieve trust ratings of 91 points out of 100 in North America and 88 in Europe. BYD, despite its strong market presence, will fall behind, with 72 and 78 points, respectively. This difference will not come only from fame or marketing, 
It will reflect something more essential, the way people feel behind the wheel. And trust in this game will be an asset of immeasurable value. The Model 2 will inherit this well-established reputation. It will be directly associated with the image of innovation, safety, and quality. Consumers will see it not just as a means of transportation, but as an extension of their own lifestyle. Tesla will cultivate this relationship with the public in an almost emotional way over the years, while BYD will still be trying to overcome the barrier of the economy brand perception. This is not a judgment. It is a reflection of what market research will show time and time again. And this perception will also be fueled by transparency in communication. Tesla, even facing criticism and occasional failures, will maintain an open dialogue with users. Its processes will be more public, its updates will be constant, and its community of fans, well, almost devotees, will be extremely active. BYD, on the other hand, will face difficulties in this area. Truncated communication, timid positions, and a lack of institutional charisma will leave the Chinese brand at a disadvantage in the minds of Western consumers. But let's get out of the realm of ideas and look at the facts. In quality tests during the first 90 days of use, the Model 2 will present, on average, only 1.3 problems per vehicle. By contrast, BYD cars, with a more simplified construction and less rigorous quality control, will have 2.8 failures, more than double. This will not be just statistics. It will be that crack in the dashboard, that squeaky door, that button that doesn't work properly, small annoyances that, over time, become big frustrations. After gaining the trust of consumers, the Model 2 will still surprise in something that many do not immediately notice its construction. Because it is not enough for a car to be beautiful on the outside or comfortable on the inside, it needs to be solid, resistant, and built to last. And it is precisely in this area that Tesla will put its difference into practice with mastery. The structure of the Model 2 will be designed with advanced aluminum alloys, a choice that combines lightness, efficiency, and impressive durability. Meanwhile, BYD will continue to rely mainly on traditional steel, which will make its vehicles heavier and, over time, more prone to wear. In durability tests, the difference between the two will become clear in the first few months of use. The Model 2 will present, on average, 1.3 problems in the first 90 days, an extremely low number which will demonstrate rigorous quality control. The BYD models, on the other hand, with 2.8 failures in the same period, will reveal a less refined production. And we are not just talking about serious technical flaws, but also details that directly affect the day-to-day -day experience, such as loose finishes, internal noises, and imprecise adjustments. This difference in standard will continue to become evident over time. In tests that simulate continuous use for five years, the Model 2's interior will continue to have a premium look. The steering wheel, seats, buttons, everything will maintain its original firmness and texture. The materials chosen will resist heat, friction, and even dirt from daily use. The BYD interior, on the other hand, will show clear signs of premature aging, fading, wear on contact surfaces, and a general tired appearance. Another important technical factor will be consistency in the assembly process. Factory audits will show that Tesla will have greater uniformity in the final quality of its vehicles, with smaller margins of error on the production lines. This precision will translate into better fitting parts, less structural noise, and less need for adjustments after purchase. BYD, on the other hand, will face challenges in maintaining this same standard of consistency, especially in outsourced factories outside China. The structural performance in crashes will also demonstrate the superiority of the Model 2. With well-distributed deformation zones and high-impact absorption materials, it will offer greater safety for occupants without compromising the chassis. In addition, sensors and precisely positioned active reinforcements 